Hello, Peter Four Sun Nazir here, Cyrus, and welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem. Last time we well, well, in this chapter we're basically going to go fight the final chapter in Lin's Ark. I can't really remember what happened last time since I haven't played this game in over a few months. So yeah, I, I could probably remember, but I'm just too lazy to check. Anyway, as you can see, I already did chapter 10 before, but what do you know? My footage got disordered from me recording over 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, I remember why I hate recording. You can't record more than 10 minutes or get distorted, and even with, with the file you get, you have, I have to do a few stuff to make sure the audio sync right. Such a pain. But anyway, let's get started. General Igar has been defeated. Lin her band draws even nearer to Castle Kellyan. Within the castle walls, Lin's bitter enemy Lundgren awaits. A man who would kill his own kin for throw. He is the source of all her troubles. He must be stopped! Chapter 10, The Distant Plains I'm still not gonna read these parts. I suck at voice acting, so yeah. The final battle! Yay for no reinforcements, and yay for this not being fine from 6 or 13 where they have same turn reinforcements. Oh well, at least fine from 13 is generous enough to tell you when they have same turn reinforcements. Anyway, let's go. Oh, you can basically put, get, move everyone up, use everyone in this chapter. Uh, oh, I already did move my the formation before in a save, so that will be a pretty much let's see save uh, this chapter is well pretty standard just have to move your units up here to here and there's not really much uh, obstacles blocking you except for one gimmick in this chapter but I get to that when it happens okay let's move my units here my lance Okay, I'm using an actual controller for this, so I'm just getting used to the controls. Islands, level 3. That was kind of pathetic. I think about it. Okay. Let's try moving all the foot, foot units up first, since, well, they're gonna have a harder time going through this map. What the wait, what? Oh. Okay, I think I might move Florina down there so she can take care of the mercenaries. Take care. Don't be wary of that archer. Let's move Will up a bit. And use Nils to use dance on him. Oh man. Dancer units can't attack. Oh, I missed that. Especially coming from 5 to 13, where Olivia could attack. And that's my brother. Oh, that. Come on. Can you take? Come at me, bro. Come at me with your elemental magic, even though you have the weapon trying you on your advantage. Move Wrath! Move! Come on! Come on! And here's the gimmick! The 
gimmick is that for a few turns it'll rain, and that that will hold the movement of all of your units to basically one or two movements per character during that turn. I'm not really sure what that does, if I have to be honest. That doesn't really add anything, in my honest opinion, since it slows down your um, uh, enemy units as well. Just basically um, prolong the chapter for no real good reason. Well, eh. It's not like the enemy get reinforcements as well, so it's kind of a useless gimmick, in my honest opinion. Anyway, enough of that. Yeah. Dang it. Who needs levels? Four, six. Oh. Let's use. Taste the power of the lance! Okay. There's no way I can hit him. Yay, I can kill him. Lucius can probably take a hit from the mage. I mean, he has he is a mage even though he has the he's on the disadvantage side of the magic trinity. He's got pretty good resistance, I think. How much resistance he has? Uh, 6. Hmm. I should be okay. Yo, heal bot, heal bot all the way. Level up. Ooh, that's a pretty good level. Up. What level is she? Level five. That's pretty good. Uh, so far, even this is, even though this is the last chapter for Lens Arc, you do get these characters back at the next few chapters. So, yeah. Move on that force. Yeah. Yeah. here, move in here, cast down from Lynn. Enemy's turn! Haha! -ha. Come on! Double Florina! Double! Dang it! Ah, you do one damage. Oh, critical! Lucius, you are the manliest of all men right now, even though you look like a girl. Lucius! Or oh, Lucius! Or oh, however you pronounce it! And yeah, I really hate this gimmick. Doesn't really add anything. Move. Oh, I can cast down to Lim for to move even further. And I'm going to stop the recording here a bit since, well, it's about 10 minutes so far. Well, according to my Audacity program with, with recording the voice, so yeah. Okay, we're back. Uh, that took some time. Anyway, let's get back into it. 
Oh yeah, I have to move my, all my other units up for this raid. Let's see, move everyone up a bit. No, I can't heal anybody. Even the Pegasus Knights are um, uh, affected because of the... One, two, one, two, okay, move it up a bit. How much speed does he? Seven... Four... Nine... Can't even double him, let's see. Let's see. Let's hope I don't mess up. Aha! No, I'm pretty worried about that archer. Look, the clouds of the raking! So next turn the clouds which should be probably gone. Moving up. Oh boy, this is trouble. I should probably let the other people handle the rest of the unit than Florina. Yay! Free movement! That's it! Oh wait, dang it! Okay. Stats. There's a silver lance and javelin, which means he can attack you if you're doing range attacks. Not like most of your. Well, magic will work. Let's see. His defense uh, 14. Huh. That, can actually, that kind of actually sucks as a general, but whatever. This is a lens mode. Might as well visit this house just for the kicks. You're here to fight Lundra, aren't you? Have enough weapons. So, yeah, this guy is talking about the armory and vendors around here. You can uh, attack the snags, which will create a bridge. So yeah, and they have pretty heavy weapons, though. With how heavy those the weapons they sell there, it's very likely that 
your units that use them won't be able to double anybody. Come on! Miss! 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 Oh, rat. Dang it. Dang it! Man. What the heck? Oh wait. She yeah, had only one, la one use of stimulus, so that makes sense. Please do not miss. Please do not miss. Phew. What? You think a 97% is a good percentage? I've been crit by a 1%! So yeah! Your argument is invalid! Actually going to lure him to wrath so... He doesn't kill, so that Flurry doesn't kill him, so I can get more experience from my other units. Moving the units up, and I can't heal anybody. Oh wait, what level is Matthew? Five! Oh, wait. Dang it. I should train Matthew a bit. Oh, there are reinforcements! Never mind, there's reinforcements on this map. Ha ha ha. Your weapons are pathetic. You want to get Matthew to block the way. Oh wait, I forgot. Bandits can move across water. But he can't move, can't attack Matthew from any other direction in this direction. So I'm pretty good still. Should train Lucius a bit, Lucius. How you mock me. Uh, Florina, visit! Energy ring. I'm gonna save that for later when I actually need it. Dungeon isn't all that tough, so yeah. Drop a door key. I won't be needing it. I hope. No, I don't. Attack the snag. Dang it. Dang that forest. And I'm gonna stop it right here since it's 10 minutes. So be right back. And I'm back with lesser delay between the first take and second take. Actually, I just got more reinforcements. Oh, he missed. Missed seventy percent. Uh, uh, uh. 
Oh dang. Where's Dorcas? Dorcas, where art thou? Time to retreat! Matthew, retreat! Retreat up here! Dang it. Okay, I'm going to attack with Kent. Level up! Gotta be kidding me. Whatever. Dang it, I thought you could drop it in the water. Uh, whatever. Attack the snake. And I'll move uh, Kent and Sane down there so they can actually get some weapons. Come on, Matthew. You must be healed! Goddess. Please bless Kent. Please bless him. Dang it! Oh well, luck and resistance is still a decent stat to level up in. So yeah, I might wait. His stats are still pretty good. Taste the power of Ken's Lance! Come on! Move down there! Oh goodness! That's mostly all the map. Just have to pay attention to the weather, and then there's just a few cavalier reinforcements from these forts, and that's basically all you have to worry about in this map. Sell my slim dance and, and buy a heel for Sarah. <laughs> no man, do I love the shop scene in the GBF Fire Emblems. Dang it, I can't move it off. I know. Can't move. I can't move! <laughs> oh well. If we can't move, might as well end the turn. Ow! Please die. Yay! Yes, 
rescue. It's not like pairing up, but still, rescue and dropping is still pretty useful. I'm risking it! Oh wait, the Dorcas has enough to one-hit him? He should have. I'm gonna go Iron Axe. Don't feel me now! Yay. Now move all my units up. to level 5 Dang it! Got to be kidding me! Is to steal it. Trade. Lance Reaver. Dang it! He can't even use Lance Reaver. He's Armor Slayer. But then, there's a Javelin. Dang it! Dang it all. Oh well. Goodbye, bandit. Even though I don't know why the why Lundgren hires a bandit to be one of his underlings. It's not even a random random bandit. It's a Kalyan right there. Kalyan soldier. Oh well. Die with an iron axe. Okay, just have two more units to do. And then you have the armor slayer and heavy spear, which are pretty good. I'm gonna buy. Wait, how much items do I have? Okay, actually, gonna buy the heavy spear. This might be useful later. So the bone area. And then by the armor slayer. Yay for Kanto! Even if it's just partial Kanto. Lin. Get cast dance on Lin so she can actually move again. Do I want Lin to finish off the boss? Maybe, if she can get to level 10 without finishing the boss, then I'll probably get somebody else to finish off Lundgren, just for the experience. And I gotta stop it for a bit here since I have reached my 10 limit minute limit already with this recording, so yeah. And okay, I'm back for my last recording session for this chapter. Well, I hope this is my last session. It'd be kind of sad if it lasts 10 minutes for this. Oh wait, maybe just before the story parts, so it'll last more than uh, 10 minutes. But regardless, let's just get into it. Desire hmm. Lance. Lance Reaver.
So yeah, one tip on use on finding them in general, well, the finds that actually have a rescue and drop section, abuse that mechanic to your fullest because it's really useful. Not as useful as pairing up with Fire Emblem 13, but useful, very useful still. And you can actually go boss abuse using that mechanic as well. Ah! Got to be kidding me! Seriously? So that Lucius can get the chill, so he can get level up. No oh, wait, I should probably. Oh, I can still heal him even. Takes the power of light magic or lighting. Level up. Nah, just resistance. Let's. Expecting more Lucius. Come on, man. Okay, now it's down to Lundrin, and there's no more reinforcements, probably. Oh wow. Uh, he can actually want hit me if I try attack him. Yeah, he has a 21% chance to... No, no, 37% chance to hit me. Which is better than that knight that just hit me with a 21%. So I'm not risking it, man. Ha! I'd like to see you try! Ah! Seriously? Uh. RNG Goddess hates me today. Taste the power of my magic! Ah! Hard to maneuver with me just punching the group up like this. News! Where are you? Yo! I got a heal bot to the end until I got no more heals. Oh wait, I should probably uh, give Sarah the heal stat before I end this stage. 
says so yeah, you do get these characters back, but they come back at different times and Dang it! I forgot about the gimmick. Aha! Eight, eight, okay. Hey, Gosu's Wallace, the Yagen of this chapter. Too bad Wallace comes back at extremely uh, much later in the when you go through the game, which really does dampen his usability in this game. But still, Fire Emblem 7 is balanced enough that you can pretty much use mostly everyone, I think. I don't really think there's a particularly awful unit in Fire Emblem 7, so yeah. yeah. And turn. Okay, might be in a bit of a trouble now. What level is Lin again? Oh wow. He can one hit me if I actually attack him. You know what? I'm just going to use the Lance Reaver. Just to give uh, Lin enough experience to actually level up. Totally love that enemy actually has to equip their item in order to attack them, unlike with FE4, where they automatically switch to their ranged weapons. Which was kind of a pain. Take, drop, move, trade. Must have heals. Must have energy ring later for Elliewood stages. And turn. One damage. Maybe I should have given Lin that energy ring. Eh, whatever. Ah, I was kind of expecting strength, Lin. Move Lin up a bit. Alright. That's interesting. Dang it! No, I'm actually just gonna wait here. Come on! Come on! Come on, Saint! You can do it! You can do it, man! Yes! Ten manly points! Yeah, he has gained ten manly points. Level up! Oh yeah! And I'm gonna end this recording here since it's been ten minutes. So yeah. Now this is my last recording session for this chapter and for this part this is post commentary why the other four parts were, where I stop and go was live. This is post commentary because I kind of forgot to record myself when I was uh, recording my voice once when I was recording for this part. Anyway, this is mostly all of Lin's arc in the game. 
overall it's a pretty good arc to get people just getting started into Fire Emblem or people just getting into SRPG in general. Overall, I'd probably say Lin's arc or Fire Emblem Awakening has the best tutorials for newcomers. Anyway, hope you enjoy my Let's Play of Lin's arc. I'm not much of an LPer, I know I kinda suck, but I still hope you enjoyed it. And next time I'll get started on Eliwood's arc. Since I can't play Hector's until I beat Eliwood's, which is one of my gripes about this game, is that you have to play through a low a difficulty in order to unlock another difficulty, which is kind of a pain for me. But oh well.
now we get to the basically a uh, small synopsis screen of what happens to Lin and her friends after the battle. It's kind of a bit of a synopsis. It just uh, tells what's happened from the time gap from the end of this story to the beginning of Elliot's story. Oh yeah, need to mention one thing. You know that energy ring I was still trying to store when I was playing through the game? I totally forgot that I don't, don't transfer from Lin's mode to any other mode. So if you have any items you want to use, like a stat up item, I would highly recommend you use them just before you end the chapter unlike me. So yeah. Anyway, when you get Lin back, you pretty much get uh, the majority of the characters back. Like Lin herself, Lorena, Sane, Kent, Will. Uh, that's the people you get when you get Lin back. Some other characters go uh, return a bit later, like Wrath, his, he comes back quite a few ways in after Lin. And Wallace, oh man does Wallace come back late. Wallace and Wrath is really the only people I have problems with in terms of availability since they come back uh, quite late when you do get them back in the main story, which is Eddie Wood's arc or... Hector's arc. Though I have heard that Wrath is a really great unit to use, but I just don't use him since, well, he comes back quite late. Not as late as Wallace, which <laughs> Wallace really does come in late. Though I do give him points for his actual recruitment into the game since it's really funny how he stumbles into the battlefield when you do get him. Though you could potentially miss him and get another unit instead of him if you got three of your lords over a certain level. But I not can't really remember what level it is. Anyway, let's see who else gonna talk about. Oh yeah. Sarah, Urk, Matthew uh, join you relatively very early. I mean Matthew, Dorcas, and Urk joins you in the first few chapters. So, yeah. Anyway, I ramble on long enough, so next time we'll actually get started on Elliot's arc. So, see you next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem.